Don't come off Nick's page and start picking on me. <coughs> hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Ginty here, and today I will be going on my For You page on TikTok and reacting to a bunch of TikToks. I might react to it in this video. To be fair, lately a lot of you guys have been asking me, oh, what's happening with Ian Moore? Because it's been like two months since I've mentioned his name or anything. You guys have been always asking me about him, but I've just kept my mouth closed. I ain't got nothing to do with him. Let me be honest with you. Let me tell you whether I've been in contact with Ian Moore or not at all. To be fair, since the whole beef thing, I haven't actually contacted him. I haven't spoken to his driver for probably over a month now. I haven't spoken to Ian for probably about two months. Like, yeah. For the people asking, are you still beefing Ian? Blah, blah, blah. No, I haven't spoken to him for ages. That is done and dust. So you guys can now stop asking me, are you still beefing Ian more? I don't speak to him anymore. I go on his page every now and again when I see he's beefing like Professor D and other people. That which I'll talk about later on in the video. But I'm just so glad I'm not a part of like, I remember how stressful it was just beefing him. Honestly, the people that thought the beef was fake, trust me, it wasn't. I'm, I just see his TikToks like him just like, saying he's going to pay people visits and I'm just thinking, thank God I'm not a part Part of that it just seems so toxic <laughs> but just before i carry on with this video any further i'd appreciate if we could get a thousand likes on this video drop a like if you haven't already it would mean more than you think trust me it would it would help me out a lot so thank you if you left a like you're a legend all right so yeah i'm gonna look on my uh, tiktok for you page and um see what's going on man because i've heard ian moore's got in a bit of beef and um i want to react to some funny tiktoks man let's have a little laugh shall we you know what i'm saying all right first tiktok of the day joe mjc if guys are legends Right. Okay, can everyone sit down, please? Thank you. <sighs> now, shut up, mate. Okay, everyone, before I start today's assembly, someone in here has graffitied on all it the toilets. Well, Someone's in trouble. Such a good actor, Using the words, Mr. Richardson dances like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is that an insult to me, but that is a criminal offence. None of the staff and myself will be angry here. I just want you to own up. Someone own up. Be honest, please. Okay, sir, I actually like the smell of old ladies. What? Sir, I actually like the taste of baby food. Same, mate. This guy's a great actor, man, honestly. Like, I couldn't do as good of a job as he does. <laughs> oh, look, guys, I meant honest about the graffiti, not your personal life. I won't be angry. It was me, sir. Wanker! I knew it was you! I knew it. Didn't we all say it'd be here? Oh, get out! Okay? Now you see everyone, if you're just honest, that's the best thing to do, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> a story to start the day. The head teacher nicks children's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, oh, this guy's funny. Alright, let me react to another TikTok. Dad! Right, Dad, I got a new tattoo. What do you mean? Everyone's getting tattoos, it's 2020. Exactly, everyone's getting tattoos, man. <laughs> oh my god, Dad! <laughs> Jesus! Dad! Oh, cool! Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, my son, I am going to hit your head with my head. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I'm going to hit your head with. Dad, <laughs> whatever. Oh, that's true. Now let's get into this Ian Moore beef. I bet you guys that's the whole point you clicked on this video. I don't even know what the title is going to be, but I want to see this um, Nicholas and Ian Moore beef. Quite intrigued as to what's going on. To be fair, I'm not going to lie. You guys have been DMing me on Instagram being like, Oh, Ian Moore's going to beef. Ian Moore's beef and Nicholas. Like, and then you stop in his meet and greets or something. Like, <sighs> so let me react to it. Let me watch this and see what's going on. Right. So as I said, the meet and greets are cancelled. Um, so, because obviously it's been brought to my attention as well that every meet and greet I've gone on, literally most of them have been there to take the piss. Most now, of them have went fine. there to take the piss. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube, but Ian, I've told you this from the start, okay? I've told you people come to your meet and greets to troll you. They're not actually your fan. They go there to take the piss, as you said. I don't know why you're still doing them. I've told you this from the start and only you've now. It took you this long to clock onto it. How, how did it take you this long? I've told you from the start. I don't know why you didn't take my word for it. People go to your meet and greets just to mess about. Like, they, I've told you this. How is it taking you this long? I'm not even trying to cause any more beef. I don't want no more beef with you. No, like, I'm not involved in this. Can't be asked for that. <laughs> but... Because now that's opened my eyes up, I don't have to waste any more of my hard-earned money coming to see you. Do I? I don't have to do that. So 
hard earned money. Man said hard earned money. He reads out shout outs for 10 quid a day all day. That's, that's all he does. He goes, shout out to so and so. Uh, my mate came out as a toast. Is that hard earned money? Is it? Is it? You can have your own judgment on that. So do me a favour, you haters, uh, you trollers, whatever you are. Please unfollow my account and go to where you need to go to. Don't stay on my account because where you're not going to get acknowledged. Haters and trollers, go to where you need to. Come to my account. Don't worry, I'll sort you out. I won't be like even more boring, you guys. Come to my account. <laughs> Give me a follow. Let's get to a meal on TikTok. I'm not going to acknowledge you at all. No, you are acknowledging them. I'm going to open the comments up are. on my page. You're going to open up the comments? You, you finally opened up the comments again. <laughs> It's taken you like what two months? Imagine having your um, imagine having your comments private for two months. You can write what the fuck you like, because I don't care. I'm not going to read them. I'm not going to read any of them. Only my actual genuine followers. The rest of them, I'm not going to even. You read. said you're not going to read the hate comments, only the genuine ones. But when you go on TikTok, how do you know if a comment is um, genuine or if it's a, a troll comment by reading? You won't know. And why not making sense? Or you, you read the comment and then you find out whether it's a troll or a nice comment. So you're gonna retaliate okay. anything you're saying. So that's fine. All right. Have a nice evening, guys. To my followers, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't miss beefing this guy or this guy. Oh, so toxic. I want to react to more of this though. Nick, let me go on his account real quick. This guy should unblock me. Man. I haven't beefed him. Why do I have to go on my other account to to see what this guy's doing, man? Come on, Ian. We haven't beefed live. You might want to unblock me so I can like just see what you're up to. Yeah, to be fair, no, I've seen some of these videos, man. Nick's beef and Ian. I forgot why they even beef. I think Ian was like, oh, you need to treat your girlfriend. She doesn't want to be in your videos. She looks scared. She doesn't talk. And Nick is like, so it's just all ridiculous, petty stuff, man. And no, no, no. Oh, yeah, he, he, um, Ian said he was going to pay Nick a visit. Ian knows where Nick lives, which is kind of peak. I feel sorry for Nick, but yeah. It's just all a bit, it's all a bit mad. I'm glad I'm not involved. Them two should just block each other and get over, over it, man. Unless it's getting them clout, but still. <laughs> Imagine posting a TikTok with 114k views and he only gets 2,000 likes. You got more loyal fans than me. Ian said he has more loyal fans than me. Imagine posting a TikTok with 115k views and you got 2,000 likes. It's not very good a uh, view to like ratio. Anyway. Right, so we've got a guy called Owen Burke who thinks he's a hard man. <laughs> right. We've got a guy called Owen Burke who thinks he's a hard man. I'm just so glad I'm not a part of that, man. Oh. Don't come off Nick's page and start picking on me. I've already said on Nick's page, it's done, he's on his own, end of. Stop the Stop shit. Stop the sheesh. Yeah, I've said my <laughs> piece over there. No one bullied Nick. I just basically made awareness to what was going on. And I've said to Nick, he's on his own now. If he gets hurt by Professor D and all that, tough. It's not my problem. But don't come on my page and start on me when I said to you, it's done now. Yeah. Why is Ian Moore beefing all the all the TikTokers like? I swear Ian Moore just comes on TikTok and just beefs every TikToker man like. When you go on his page, like one week he's beefing this person, and the next week he's beefing the next person like. He's just always in beef. Ian, you need to chill, man. I don't know what you're doing to get yourself into beef. Well, I mean you beefed me because you were being creepy towards me, but. You do not make threats to me, mate. Little boy. <laughs> Man said little boy. <laughs> you do not make threats to me, little boy. <laughs> Can't take this guy seriously. How can you take him seriously? Because you'll end up behind a cell in a police station. Alright. Police station. See you later. Man said Bye now. Be behind a cell in a police station when Ian said he'll stump on my neck two months ago and leave me unconscious, but let's watch this one. Professor D. This guy's so wet. Oh, Professor D, you've been a naughty boy. Like, oh. You don't understand how happy I am to not be a part of that, because... You've been a naughty boy, haven't you? You've got yourself a seven-day ban. You can't pose to do anything. I bet it's driving you insane, isn't it? This guy's 34 and he's acting like a five-year-old. You've got a seven-day ban. <laughs> right. My guys at the top who are sanctioning those who need to be sanctioned. What are you going to do now, big man? Yeah, now that you've lost your, your life for seven days, you're going to be curling up in a ball, crying, going, I can't put my videos out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this Professor D guy, I'm pretty sure his life isn't just... He's only got like 7,000 followers, like, surely he's got a job and everything, like... I'm pretty sure his life isn't just TikTok-y and, like... Just because he's banned for seven days doesn't mean his life is over, like... Pretty sure he's not as obsessed with TikTok as you are, Ian. 
<laughs> enjoy your seven days and hopefully come back to the app you and you've got your ideas like up. A baby. I wish you'd be banned again. All right. See you later, Professor D. Enjoy your seven days. Imagine making a TikTok being like, I, uh, that could never be me. Like, imagine making a TikTok being like, oh, you've just been banned from seven days. I hope you curl up in a ball, blah, blah. Like, oh, this is just bad content. Holiday from TikTok. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Man said a seven-day holiday from TikTok. <laughs> this is why people follow him. It's funny, but it's stupid to laugh at. Do you know what I mean? This is how he gets his followers. It makes you laugh, but it's just so stupid. He's just laughing at what? So stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about Ian more. But yeah, this isn't me trying to like. I know I, I beefed the end, and it's done. It is done. I'm not beefing him again. The people, the people that are gonna be like in the comments. Um, oh, you're just trying to beef Ian. The beef's done. I know. I'm not trying to cause my beef. I was reacting to the beef that he's got with. Nick or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today, man. If you guys could leave a like on this video, that would mean a lot. Let's get a thousand likes on this video. That would mean the world. If you can do that, it, it would be highly appreciated, trust me. And you get good luck for the next year. So if you want a better, if you want a better end to your 2020, I know we've been in lockdown for most of it, but if you want some good things to happen to you this year, drop a like on this video. And um, if you've made it to the end, comment hashtag Ginty Gang, and I'll be sure to reply to your comment, because not gonna lie, I either heart or reply to all your comments these days. Trust me, look at my previous video. I'm good at replying to comments, man. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram. I'll put it on the screen now. We're trying to get 30,000 followers. We're so close to 30K. Quickly go over there, follow me, and DM me when you're done, and I'll follow some of you back. I'm gonna go now, guys. Take care, and uh, let me do a little silly boy for you guys, because I know you guys love that. You silly boy! Cringe, sorry. All right, that's it. That's it for today, man. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Take care. And in a bit.